So what is going on guys, Nando Pants 93 here with another video. This one's going to be an extremely quick one. I just really wanted to touch on some of the changes that we saw with the new beta 4 release of iPadOS 14. And again, most of these changes are going to be aesthetic and visual changes. But we did get some fixes and updates that were absolutely amazing. First off, the update has to be the fact that I now have the weather widget. Yes, it still says that I'm in Cupertino, but I just restarted this so it's still refreshing. It took a little while last time for it to actually go to my location. Even though I'm not on the west coast, I'm on the east coast of the country, but at least I have the weather up there and it looks good finally, right? Another thing that was finally fixed is if you scroll all the way down, I finally got my edit button back. Some people were complaining that they lost their edit button, I was one of them, other people saw no change whatsoever and still had their edit button. It really affected me because I was not able to change the third party widgets that were from iPadOS 13 that are now on iPadOS 14. So it really wasn't fair to the developers either because we were stuck just being able to use Apple's native widgets and the widgets that were there from before. We couldn't add any new ones, but now since I got it back, I'm good to go. I did want to touch on the fact that they added two new widgets. I would actually consider this like a 1.5 widgets, right? So the first one, if you hold down and you edit, you now have an actual brand new one, which is the Apple TV one. So this one, so it obviously just takes whatever you're logged in with on Apple TV. So if you're logged into Netflix, if you use Apple TV Plus, HBO, it'll take all of your watching and use those recommendations to just show off basically what's playing next, what you've been watching lately, and essentially just an Apple TV widget. And then the second one that was actually really cool is the shortcuts. So you guys see that I have the shortcuts here. Previously, we were able to do shortcuts even on iPadOS 13, if you go into shortcuts, but it only showed in these two formats, right? Which I actually like it better this way because it gives you more options as opposed to just using a two by two square for one option, but it's there finally. So if you just have a couple of shortcuts that you wanna put on there, you can see that right now I have the flashlight for here, but then I wanted to show you that you can actually put an empty one out here and then edit the actual widget. And then within there, choose your shortcut. So let's say TV room light off, put that on there, press done, and then boom, now I have both my shortcuts on there. And then one more thing that changed within the shortcuts is now if you long press on one of them and you edit just the widget itself, you see that the whole background turns the color of that widget. So it's blue now, you see that the background is blue. If I go back and I want to edit, let's say, the calendar one, edit that widget, then the whole thing turns red because the color is red. So now, basically, the background, whenever you're editing the widget, changes to that corresponding background color. Not a big deal. Again, just an aesthetic difference. And then the last one has to be universal search. So if I go down and pull down the universal search, I can now type in pretty much anything from before. And it gives you the suggested website. It gives you Siri knowledge looks into all your stuff but then also gives you show more results so it allows me to press hit more and then it shows where it would be in the files where it would be in my find my where it's where it's talked about in my messages so that's nice so whenever you type in anything into universal search it now gives you basically a system-wide search of the entire ipad which is amazing but that's pretty much going to do it for this video guys before i end it did just pick up this little keyboard cover literally got it today going to test it out and see if it's worth that nine dollar mark because i wanted a keyboard cover for the magic keyboard for a while but i'll link it below for you guys if you want to try it out because i know i'm going to get questions and that's pretty much going to do it in terms of some of the differences that we found just with ipad os 14. there were a couple other ones on the ios 14 side beta 4 but i'm not going to touch on those because we're only talking about ipads here guys but that's going to do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed maybe found something out that's a little bit new going to try to rush this one out for you guys and get it done but you guys are dealing with the hurricane. Stay safe and until next time, peace.